Hey everybody, Barker here from Be A Better Game Master, obviously. Uh, I am making some videos currently, editing some videos, got some stuff in the oven for you, some really cool things going on, but I thought I'd stop by and make a five minute frenzy. I know, Cat. I know. I know. It was a good idea. I agree. So, without further ado, let's get started. Agreed, again. Uh, I have this, okay, this is a personal recorder. Okay, I recommend you get one of these or just use your phone or whatever and record every session you run. Okay, that's step one. If you play games on Google Hangouts, things like that, then you don't even have to worry about it, right? Because automatically record it to your YouTube channel if you want that. So um, definitely do some recording. Uh, the second thing is this. When you're preparing for a game, pull out a sheet of paper. Uh, and, and what I do is I think of two brand new plot hooks to come up with for this, this session, right? Uh, two or three, maybe one to three is a good number. And then I will search through previous recordings of previous games, and I will come up with one thing every session. I think every session is a good thing, but you don't have to do it every time if it gets redundant, but come up with something from a previous session and put it back into the game. So let's say, uh, you know, in the Winds of Sursaline game that I'm running, in session one, okay, Orin uh, and Pebble, they're kind of, they're both run by Matt Click from A Fistful of Dice, uh, they put ink, black ink, in this guy's beer. And he drank it up, you know, they rolled the sleight of hand check or whatever, and it was great, and he, he drank it up, and then his teeth were just black. And that was hilarious, and that ended. In the future, I might bring him back in the game because I might be like, hey, that was a really cool plot hook. That was something that, uh, that wasn't tied off. That's something that hasn't ended. So the reason I recommend recording your games is because some of the best preparation, I think, when you're running a game is to just sit down and listen to the last game you ran because it automatically starts inspiring you reminding you of what happened, which is super important because we're human beings, we forget a bunch of stuff. Um, and uh, it, it's just a really good tangible way to, to get back into the flow of things, to get back into the mentality that you were in when you were running that game. So uh, step one is record. Step two is take from those recordings and put them back into your game. The biggest benefit of doing this, in my opinion, is that it's easier to prep when you do that. Because you don't have to sit with a blank sheet of paper and come up with stuff from scratch. Maybe a, a little bit, most definitely. You always have to do that. But it's easier when you can take something that happened before and wrap it back into the game that's happening now. Because that's like automatic plot hook, right? Automatic game. And sooner or later, sooner actually, um, but, more, but gradually, your game will start writing itself. And again, I always say this, that's the ultimate goal. When your game, when your campaign starts writing itself and you no longer have to sit down and think, oh man, what's going to happen? You already know what's going to happen because these NPCs are real people and they have real motivations and real other things and other words that I want to tell you. When that happens, that's like the best feeling in the world as a dungeon master. So this will help that. Uh, also, the recorder, again, will help with tons of other things uh, up to and including prep. So... Thank you very much, all of you, for tuning in to Be a Better Game Master. Uh, who no, this is going to be like a 3 minute and 53 second frenzy right now, which is not okay. I'll get you the last minute later, okay? I'll hit you up. Again, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, like if you like the video. Uh, subscribe if you want to. Otherwise, double tap, peace, and uh, we'll see you in future videos that I got cooking up in this oven over there. Ooh, the oven! Can you see the oven a little bit? Oh. Kitchen's a little dirty. Oops, my bad.